Hi, I'm Doug Gimbo from the Lewis Multi Drill Company. I'm planting potatoes. Really, I'm planting potatoes. You know, I grew up in northern British Columbia, and we had a little garden in our backyard that practically fed our family for the whole summer, and we stored the vegetables, and it fed us for most of the winter too. So with the economy the way it is, and people out of work, and we're all thinking about going back to the land a little bit, and growing some gardens, one of the biggest excuses I have, I guess, is there's too much work, or my land isn't good enough to grow anything. So we've come up with the idea of using an auger to plant potatoes and other things. Now there's some really good reasons why you would want to do this. First of all, you don't need a huge garden plot to grow a lot of food. And secondly, you don't need good dirt, because what we can do is just drill a dedicated hole for our plant, fill that hole with some good dirt, plant our potato in there, and we're going to get a good hill of potatoes. As a matter of fact, I remember as a kid, my dad always saying, get out there, Doug, and hill those potatoes. They're starting to show on the top. So not only do you have to plant the potato and take care of it, but you've always got to be there putting the dirt around that potato plant to keep them, the potatoes themselves from coming out and drying out on the surface. So with this hole, we can put a little bit of dirt down in the bottom, plant our potato down there a little deeper into the hole, put some dirt on the top of it, and then when we come back in a month or so when the potatoes are starting to grow, we can just put a little more dirt in the hole, and we'll have a nice potato plant coming out of there. You probably get two, three, four, five pounds of potatoes out of each one of these holes. I drilled these 20 holes yesterday in about an hour, and I used about a cup of gasoline in my chainsaw using the Lewis multi-drill and the Lewis auger. So that cost about 50 cents. Now we can go buy a bag of potatoes at a store anywhere. I have some here to show you. Bag of potatoes is probably three or four dollars. You can probably get some that are already sprouting. These ones came from Trader Joe's. They're nice potatoes. Now the one thing you want to do is plant potatoes you like, because if you don't like the potato, you're going to get a whole bunch of baby potatoes that you don't like either. Plant a good potato. Now, they say you need seed potatoes. Well, they seem to be the ones that are sprouting, and so you know that they're going to grow. I bought lots at the grocery stores. You cut a couple of eyes, you put it in the ground, they tend to grow. So I, I, I don't know that you necessarily need seed potatoes, but I think that if you put any potato in the ground, it'll probably grow. That's my experience. So let me show you how you do this quickly. First you take a potato, and you have a look at the eyes. Every one of these little holes here will grow a sprout if you leave it long enough. So this potato has got several. So I can put the whole potato in the ground, and it'll grow, but I can save myself some money by cutting that potato into maybe two or three. Now all I have to do with this piece I've cut, it's got about three eyes on there. You want to plant it with the eyes up. Now what I've done is I've got some good black soil here that I bought at Home Depot. You get them in these plastic bales and cost you about $7. Well that bale of $7 of good potting soil or good garden soil is probably going to fill all these holes right here. So now we're up to 50 cents for the gas and we're up to about 7 or $8 maybe for the dirt and the time to go and get it and a bag of potatoes. And this will probably feed your family for most of the summer. So it's a pretty good way to go. So let me show you what I'm going to do. Put a shovel full or two of this black dirt down the bottom of my hole. Now, by the way, you only have to drill these holes about a foot deep, maybe about a foot and a half. Now, what's going to happen is some of the soil is going to fall back in, but that's OK, because then you've got nice soft soil underneath of this good dirt so that the roots of your potato can get down in there. So now that I've put this good dirt down in the bottom of my hole here, I'm going to plant my potato, just push it in a little bit, and do the same thing. Put another couple of shovelfuls in there. But remember, don't fill it right up to the top yet, because that's what you're going to do as the potatoes come up to the surface, is add a little more dirt. I'm going to pack that down so there's no air pockets in there, give it some water, and that potato will be pocket, popping up in probably about a week. Within two months, you're going to have beautiful hills of potatoes coming off all over the place. That's how the Lewis Multi-Drill does that.